what's up guys and welcome back this is our uh, we are starting our regular classes and in this class we'll be learn how we can install laravel on our local machine so let's get started uh, first of all assume you will need to uh, install the git git is basically a version control application which could help us to uh, version control for our code it is not necessary but you should install it it will it's very mean to say it's very easy to manage our command line stuff right uh, so once you download this and then you will need to have composer right so if i click on the download button and then i can download composer from here composer.setup composer.setup.exe and it's already downloaded and installed with me simply you just need to download and install composer once both are done for example if i open uh git bash here or simply the command line right but i'm not using this command line so i'm using git right so once composer and git install so if i check uh, is composer installed in machine so if i composer and enter okay that means composer is installed on our machine right that's it and you can also check the version of php by typing php v right so if you want to run php on your machine you will need to have some system requirements so if you open laravel documentation laravel.com and then go to documentation and then check server requirements so you will need to have all these setups right and i'm using a xamp server right now so which can, latest version of xamp which contains which almost contains these features right so if i go to htdocs and then right click on git bash here or you can also open command write whatever you like but i'm using git so it's open inside htdocs and then you can also install the laravel installer and with the help of laravel uh, installer you can also install laravel but i will use composer right so how we can create our first laravel project once we install composer We'll just simple okay let's create our project so if I say composer create project laravel slash laravel which will I think take it from packages and then the name of the project you can also write preferred distribution but uh, for example the name of the project is blog and it will just take a few moments to install laravel okay now you can see laravel is successfully installed now it's time to run our application and let's see so if you go to the blog application and this is the complete letter or application and I'll in the next video I'll be discussing the complete folder structure and for now let's create a hello world application uh, I mean hello world so if I go to the source views and then open my welcome blade in my text editor and then if I scroll out basically this is our file you can do whatever you want for example you can write welcome what I'll write hello world and then go to the main file and if I open this completely folder in a command line and then let me say PHP artisan serve and you make sure you're running PHP artisan serve that will basically serve a new server for PHP and it will give you a port 8000 now you can see this is your hello world application in laravel and congratulations on making that right so in the next video we'll be discussing the folder structure and as the series progress we will discuss more things right so see you in the next